There we were, my best friend Carl and I, screaming at the top of our lungs. We did it. We finally did it. It took the Red Sox 86 years to win their sixth World Series title. Hi, I'm Eric Woodger, and I'm here to talk to you about my passion, or you could say obsession, with the Boston Red Sox. Uh, my passion might be your hatred, but you can't deny the rich tradition the Red Sox have in baseball. Despite being plagued with a drought of over 86 years without a World Series title, the Red Sox are still a team of success, phenomenal players, as well as frustration. In 1901, the Red Sox were established as one of the original eight teams to begin the American Baseball League. In 1903, they won the first ever World Series against the National League champion the Pittsburgh Pirates. Success did not stop there. The Red Sox went on to win four more World Series titles in 1912, 1915, 1916, and 1918. As many of you know, 1918 was the year the drought started but that did not stop the Red Sox from producing some of the greatest players in baseball history. Do you know who has the most career wins in Major League history? The last player to ever hit for the Triple Crown? Or the last player to bat for over 400 in a single season? Cy Young, the undisputed greatest pitcher ever, has 511 career wins. That's 157 more than our era's best pitcher, Roger Clemens. It is a record that's said to never be broken. Cy Young played the prime of his career at the Red Sox from 1901 to 1905, leading them to the 1903 World Series. Carl Yastrzemski, the last person to ever hit for the Triple Crown. If you don't know it, the Triple Crown is having the most home runs, the most RBIs, and the highest batting average in the league. Yastrzemski played his entire 23-year career with the Red Sox earning an astounding 18 All-Star teams, um, as well as hitting for over 3,000 hits and, and amassing 400 home runs. Ted Williams, the last person to ever hit 400 for over 400 in a single season. Arguably the best hitter of all time, this two-time MVP has a career batting average of 344 and over 521 home runs. He is the only player to have such a high batting average for having over 500 home runs. Chris Cotter from Radio 790 Atlanta says, what will be revered just how great of a hitter he was, he was the best hitter of all time. There's no doubt about it. You have Hank Aaron with all the home runs, the home run king. You have Barry Bonds, the single season home run king. You have players that have had more RBIs, but nobody did everything like Ted Williams. Finally, Babe Ruth began his uh, baseball career with the Red Sox, leading them to the 1918 World Series. Which brings me to my next point, the curse of the Bambino. In 1919, the Red Sox did not trade but sold Babe Ruth to the rival New York Yankees because their greedy owner wanted to uh, fund a Broadway musical. This began what this said to be the curse of the Bambino. For years and years, the Red Sox have been frustrated with coming up short so many times in the World Series. But in 86 years later, in 2004, the Red Sox defeated the St. Louis Cardinals for their sixth but not final World Series title. The Red Sox went on to win it again in 2007, defeating uh, the Rockies. Sorry. <laughs> Um, which brings me to my conclusion. In conclusion, the Red Sox are a team of great tradition and success, winning in 1903, 1912, 1915, 16, 18, 2004, and of course 2007. They have produced some of the greatest players, not only these four great players, but also uh, the list goes down, many Hall of Famers. Also, the frustration of the Curse of Bambino, which lasted 86 years. Uh, was part of their hard-fought battle, and that's it.